Hi guys, welcome. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to access our Google um, Slides Math Facts flashcards. Okay, so our step one is going to be we need to be make sure that we are inside of our Schoology classroom. So I just pulled up our Schoology, but it's not we're not inside the classroom. It's like a, um, a thread from all different things. So we're going to want to go to courses and then inside of our classroom. I know when we first started, a lot of people couldn't find the Zoom link, and it's because we weren't all the way inside the course. You have to make sure you're inside the course. It's really tricky because it looks like you're in, but you're not. Okay, so these drop-down menus on the side on the left are going to start to become very, very, very um, important to us as we continue utilizing our course. Um, the one that we're gonna worry about today is the materials tab. It looks like we are already automatically in the materials tab, but just to double check, I'm gonna click on materials. Inside materials is where we are going to find, um, like we have our Zoom link in there. We have our learning schedule in both English and Spanish. We have folders for each day, which we're gonna start using as well. Um, but today we're only gonna worry about the folder that is titled Google Slides Math Facts flashcards. So I'm going to click on this link here. It's going to redirect us to a, um, a page that has all the different flashcards on it. Um, what I'm going to recommend is to start with plus or minus zero and then make, um, once you pass all of those, to move up and up and up and up just to make sure that um, that you guys are practicing all of them, okay? So today, if you practice all the way to plus five, right, then you can remember, oh, tomorrow when I come back here, I'm gonna do the plus minus six, okay? And then I would also recommend that you stay on your level until you get them all right. So if you're on plus three and you missed a few of them, come back and do plus three again, just so you get that practice because you don't wanna be practicing all of them because it's so much. You want to make sure you get really, really good at one level and then move on to the next one. So I talked about plus minus three. Let's just go there to check it out. Um, super important right here is once we are inside the folder, it's going to, or inside the document actually, it's going to redirect us to a Google Slides presentation. If you keep it like this, the answer is showed to you. We really don't want that because then that's not really using our brains very much, right? So rather, you go inside, you go to the button present, click on present, and it changes the flashcard to be a full screen flashcard, and it does something really cool. Watch this. Um, if you want to move forward, you either press the space bar or click anywhere on the screen. So when I practice this one, there's our flashcard, zero plus three equals, hmm. Think in my head what the answer is. Press the space bar. And it's gonna tell me what the answer is in this little bubble that's gonna come to the side. So you, you look at the flashcard, you think of the answer, you don't have to write anything down. This is just quick practice. Um, and then you press the space bar or click on the, um, on the side and it'll show you the answer. And then you go to the next one. This one's same. Let me find a different one. Perfect. So if I go to this one, two plus three, think in my head. Got it. Press the space bar and you can check your work. Um, so for this week, we're going to do this for just about like 10 minutes each day. It'll probably take you a few minutes to get in there. Um, this is a really great resource for um, the kids. They are welcome to do to practice these as well during our um, our learning time after lunch. Um, it's a really, really, really powerful because when we are doing um, when we are doing our math, when we start doing our curriculum, uh, this year is really, really heavily focused on. Um, two and three digit addition and subtraction. And we will quickly learn that two and three digit subtraction is exactly the same as knowing plus or minus one, plus or minus two, three. So all of that single digit addition, it's all related. So it makes the kids, um, 
it makes you guys or the kids um, much stronger in math if they don't have to draw a picture for these um, for these math facts. If they just know them like a snap, it's going to make it so, so, so much easier for them. And that is one reason why I am really, really big on math facts math facts practice um, as a second grader. It's one of the best ways for you guys to um, make sure that you are either supporting your children or that you guys, my students, are supporting yourself and making sure that you're successful. I promise you it's going to be so, it's going to make everything so much easier. So once you're done with this here, um, you're going to practice for 10 minutes and then I will pull you either if it's during our math block, then I'll pull you back into the classroom after putting you in the waiting room. Or if you're doing this on your own, when you're done, you can just click out and go to whatever other program that you are. Okay, I hope this is helpful. If you ever get lost in Schoology, what I always do is I go to courses and I just go back to our course and it's gonna send us back to our home page. Okay, hope this helps. Watch it again if you get confused. Bye.